ergonomics it means fitting the job to the worker so it is the study of mechanical interaction between people and their work environment for the purpose of tailoring tools tasks and workplace design for better overall efficiency and individual well being keep quiet last three rows please keep quiet so ergonomics it is a study which is being done for increasing the uh, efficiency of work and individual well being so uh, the the uh, objective of this type of study is to improve the efficiency of operation by taking into account a typical person's size strength speed visual acuity and physical stresses such as fatigue speed of decision making demands on memory and perception so uh, all this is done to maximize the productivity we, we take into account these various parameters of the individual so that the uh, risk of musculoskeletal disorders is decreased now there are various types of ergonomics physical cognitive organizational etc so physical ergonomics is the human body's responses to physical and physiological workload repetitive strain injuries from repetition vibration force and posture fall into this category cognitive ergonomics it deals with the mental processes and capacities of human when they are working organizational ergonomics means it deals with organizational structures policies and processes in the work environment such as shift work scheduling job satisfaction motivation supervision team work telecommunicating and ethics so what are the effects of ergonomics the injuries which are caused they can be classified into two types cumulative trauma disorders which include tendon disorders nerve disorders and neurovascular disorders tendon disorders uh, it means inflammation of tendon or the sheath of the tendon caused by repeated repeated rubbing against ligaments bones etc Uh, a very common condition associated with it is lateral epicondylitis which is commonly known as tennis elbow nerve disorders may occur common is carpal tunnel syndrome neurovascular disorders like renault's phenomena in which the fingers they turn pale also known as white finger syndrome then strains or sprains they are also common injuries so important is to follow the correct technique so as you can see in the picture if one has to lift a heavy load then this is the correct posture left one is the correct posture uh, for lifting the load and if you see the picture uh, below the right way and the wrong way of lifting the heavy load and this is to prevent the various musculoskeletal disorders so what should be done warm up and stretch before activities that are repetitive static or slow, prolonged uh, another step is to take frequent breaks every 20 to 30 minutes stop the painful activity if any activity is uh, painful that activity should be stopped recognize early signs of inflammatory process 
and be aware of work station environment so the most important thing is to maintain a posture which should be neutral maintain erect position of back and neck so work directly in front of and close to your major task keep upper arms close to the body and elbows 90 to 100 degrees this should be the posture keep feet flat on the floor upper body weight resting on sit bone wrist should be as neutral as possible safe zone for wrist movement is 15 degrees in all direction so these are the various steps to maintain a neutral posture to prevent musculoskeletal uh, disorder avoid bending neck forward for prolonged period of uh, time avoid static position for prolonged time it will lead to muscle fatigue because of decreased circulation due to the same posture so in this picture uh, it is shown how to keep the elbows close by your uh, side back it should be back and neck they should be straight this is the correct posture and about the wrist they should be comfortably straight and in the third picture if you are using a computer or a uh, laptop then uh, this is, should be the posture of hands arms or elbows so in summary to minimize the ergonomic risk factor stretch throughout the shift especially before and after activities that require awkward position or lifting pay attention to your body know your physical limitations report ergonomic issues to appropriate channels ergonomic injuries they are preventable and your own uh, safety is in your own hands so uh, this was about ergonomic that is fitting a person in that job so these uh, steps should be uh, followed to prevent musculoskeletal disorder now there are certain hazards which are related to occupation occupational hazards which should uh, which can be divided as physical chemical biological mechanical and psychosocial so physical hazards there are certain direct effects of heat and some indirect effects directly it may cause burns or heat exhaustion or heat stroke or heat cramps may be there and indirect effects of heat are decreased efficiency of work increased fatigue and enhanced accident rate so the industries in which heat hazards they are common are glass and steel industry and also heat stagnation is also a common problem of jute and cotton textile industry so those who are at risk of heat stroke are senior citizens children athletes and those who work outdoors so how will you recognize heat stroke the signs and symptoms are if there is no sweating in that person the skin is dry hot and red if the person is feeling dizziness or headache pupils are pinpoint vomiting is there or the person becomes unconscious so how this heat stroke can be prevented frequent intake of water should be there to prevent dehydration no alcohol or caffeine cool showering it will help in cooling down the body wear light protection light colored cotton clothes do not stay uh, in closed car and limit outdoor time another is, uh, one is cold hazard it is associated with 
those who work in very cold environments and it results in chill blains erythrocytosis immersion foot frost bite and this is because of uh, vasoconstriction for a long time effects of light uh it may be eye strain headache eye pain leg cramation or eye fatigue and chronic effect includes minor nystagmus because it is a common problem in minors intense direct glare may result in blurring of vision and it may lead to accident uh hazards of noise it may be auditory or non auditory auditory effects may be hearing loss which may be temporary or permanent and other effects are nervousness fatigue interference with communication by speech due to low hearing and decreased efficiency at work hazards due to vibration now vibration which is of frequency of 10 to 500 hazards it is uh, hazardous and it is associated with use of drills and hammers the in there may be injuries to joints of ha- hands elbows and shoulders next is ultraviolet radiation which is uh, hazardous to those which are involved in welding work it affects eyes causing conjunctivitis and keratitis ionizing radiation those working in uh, x rays and radioactive isotopes especially with cobalt 60 and phosphorus 32 so uh, radiation they are more hazardous to bone marrow and it may cause genetic changes certain cancers they are due to radiation exposure leukemia there may be ulceration or sterility and in extreme cases it may even cause death hazards due to pressure and it is seen in divers air embolism and cajun's disease electricity it may cause burn or it may also cause death in radiation hazard luminous dials for watches and other instruments manufacture of radioactive paint they are associated with such type of hazard and x-rays they are used both in medicine and industry exposure to ultraviolet rays occurs in arc and other electric welding processes so radiation includes ultraviolet rays and x rays there may be acute burn or inflammation of skin blood dysplasia chronic exposure may lead to certain cancers and genetic effects so how to prevent all these type of hazards direct contact should be avoided use of protective shield for x-rays as you must have seen jo x-ray ke workers hote hain wo ek apron pehen ke rakhte hain employees must be monitored with use of film badges protective clothing replacement of workers periodically uh, they should be there should be shift ki jo workers hain unko kisi aur kaam mein involve kar dein kuch months ke liye pregnant women should not be allowed at work place all these are the protective uh, clothing gloves bags jackets etc now hazard due to use of chemicals it may cause dermatitis chemical burns eczema ulcers and even cancer some chemicals such as pnt and aniline they are absorbed through the skin and cause systemic effects so these chemicals they are very hazardous they may even cause cancer 
ये जो टॉपिक है आपका ऑक्यूपेशनल हजार्ड का इस पे लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन बनता है बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है तो इसलिए प्लीज पे अटेंशन नेक्स्ट इज इनहेलेशन ऑफ डस्ट नाउ द डस्ट साइज इफ इट इज पॉइंट वन टू वन फिफ्टी माइक्रोन इट एंटर इन टू द लंग दिस साइज ऑफ डस्ट इट इज रिलीज इन टू एटमोस्फियर ड्यूरिंग प्रोसेसिस लाइक क्रशिंग ग्राइंडिंग एब्रेडिंग लोडिंग एंड अनलोडिंग ऑपरेशन एंड द इंडस्ट्रीज विच इन विच सच टाइप ऑफ डस्ट आर प्रोड्यूस दीज आर माइंड पॉन्ड्री क्वेरी पॉट्री इंडस्ट्री टेक्सटाइल वुड एंड स्टोन वर्किंग इंडस्ट्री so if uh, the particles they get into the lung then it is uh, this fraction this size of the dust particle it is known as respiratory dust and it led to various diseases related to lung they are categorized as pneumoconiosis so the various uh, types of pneumoconiosis which are caused are coal dust it causes anthracosis silica causes silicosis asbestos leads to asbestosis or uh, it is a risk factor for lung cancer iron it causes siderosis then there are certain organic dust cane fiber that is sugar cane ka jo fiber hota hai it may lead to bagasosis cotton dust it causes bicinosis tobacco will cause tobacosis so all those uh, workers which are involved in industries related to all these dust organic or inorganic dust they are exposed to or at risk of these uh, diseases occupational diseases so the dust uh, particles which are of size of 0.5 to 3 micron they are hazardous एंड द एक्सपोजर ऐसा नहीं है कि जस्ट एक्यूट एक्सपोजर हुआ एक दो दिन के लिए इफ द एक्सपोजर इज ऑफ फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड देन इट मे लेट टू दिस टाइप ऑफ डिजीजेस इट विल क्रिपल अ मैन बाय रिड्यूसिंग द वर्क कैपेसिटी बिकॉज इट विल लेट टू लंग फाइब्रोसिस सिलिकॉसिस इज द मेजर कॉज ऑफ परमानेंट डिसबिलिटी एंड मोर्टैलिटी कॉज बाय इनहेलेशन ऑफ डस्ट containing free silica or silicon dioxide so how silicosis it can be controlled by dust control measures or by complete enclosure isolation substitution and good housekeeping by using personal protective measures like uh, protective clothing and protective equipment and uh, regular physical examination of workers then bicinosis which is due to cotton fiber dust the symptoms are cough and progressive dyspnea uh, chronic uh, features are chronic bronchitis and even emphysema then due to sugar cane dust or bagasi it is actually a thermophilic actinomycetes jo sugar cane ki fiber ke upar hota hai it causes infection in the lungs on reaching lungs and then it causes breathlessness cough hemoptysis and slight fever how to prevent it dust control measures should be taken personal protection uh, protective clothing and other equipment should be used and bagasi control that is if the sugar cane fiber it is sprayed with this uh, 2% propionic acid then the growth of this actinomycetes can be inhibited then asbestosis asbestos uh, it is produced in industries like asbestos fiber it is produced in industries like asbestos cement factory or fiber proof tech textiles roof tiling the factories brake lining gasket factories etc so when it enters the lungs by inhalation it is deposited in alveoli and led to 
respiratory insufficiency and even death and it is uh, important because it is also a precancerous condition uh, later on the patient uh, the person may develop cancer of lung cancer of bronchus or cancer of gastrointestinal tract may also occur so how to prevent asbestosis use of safer type of asbestos there are various type of asbestos so chrysolite and amsolite varieties they are safer uh, type substitution with other materials instead of asbestos other materials like mineral wool calcium silicate or plastic foams they can be used dust control measures should be taken and periodic examination of workers uh, clinically they should be examined like 6 months or so x ray regular x ray monthly uh, sorry yearly x ray should be done and lung function test should be checked next condition is farmer's lung it is due to inhalation of moldy hay grain dust if the hay dust has moisture content of over 30% then it may cause growth of certain bacteria and fungi Uh, especially when the temperature rises to 40 to 50 degrees so this is the picture showing farmer's lung there is fibrosis of lungs in this x ray and it is due to inhalation of moldy hay grain dust so on the uh, grain dust there is growth of thermophilic actinomycetes and on reaching lungs it will it will uh, lead to fibrosis of lung next is lead poisoning lead it is uh, used in industries because it has low boiling point it very easily mixes with other metals to form alloys it easily gets oxidized it is anti corrosive so it is used in industries like storage batteries glass industry ship building industry printing industry pottery and rubber industry and the paint which is over the pencils it has lead so uh, it may lead to lead poisoning so how to prevent lead poisoning childhood lead poisoning by use of unleaded petrol personal protection personal hygiene measures isolation and local exhaust ventilation and for uh, if someone is having uh, poisoning the antidote is d penicillin this is the antidote so if there is uh, lead poisoning during childhood the various effects on child health are damage to brain and nervous system the growth and development of child will be slowed down the child will have uh, various problems related to learning and behavioral problems and hearing and speech problems will be there so occupational cancer it most commonly affects the sites like skin lung bladder and blood skin cancer it occurs in workers like gas workers coke oven workers tar distillers oil refiners dye stuff makers road construction workers and those who are working in industries of related to mineral oil tar and other compounds so if these uh, uh chemicals they get deposited over the skin for a long time they lead to skin cancer another type of cancer is lung cancer especially in workers which are uh, involved in gas industry asbestos industry nickel and chromium uh, workers arsenic roasting plants mining of radioactive substances so most of the workers they are also uh, having history of tobacco smoking or 
they are exposed to air pollution or there is occupational exposure bladder cancer it is uh, most commonly it is uh, related with the aniline industry aniline dye it is uh, uh, very it is a risk factor for causing cancer of bladder especially the aromatic amine industries associated with dye stuff dyeing industry rubber gas and electric cable industry so all these indus industrial workers they are exposed to bladder cancer now occupational hazards which are related to agriculture workers zoonotic diseases zoonotic diseases are those diseases which are transmitted from animals to humans and examples are brucellosis anthrax leptospirosis tetanus tuberculosis etc there may be accidents related with agricultural machinery or insect bites or snake bites toxic hazards due to the use of fertilizers insecticides and pesticides some psychosocial hazards may be there like frustration lack of job satisfaction insecurity poor human relationship emotional tension all these are related to the psychological problems which are related with the working environment so these psychological factors they undermine the physical and mental health of worker so occupational hygiene which should be maintained protecting people from workplace health risks for well being promoting healthy lifestyle choices and managing the health of workers by annual checkup etc so in this way occupational hazards they can be prevented any questions